show you how to use the board. First, you turn it on, and this is the power button. And then once it comes up, it'll have a password up. And so we'll show you how to get bypass the password. Some of the boards have a power button that's over on this side or over on here, but there's a, a power button that either be on the very bottom or on the very side over here. Okay, so this right now, the board is locked. And so if you wanna access it, you're gonna pull down from the top, just like you would on a tablet. And you're gonna click on this little icon. It'll be a different color in each room. But you're gonna click on that icon and click guest. And it will take you to the guest account. That way you don't have to log into anything, put your password in anything. And you're always gonna hit yes, continue. And then from here, if you wanna access the internet, you're gonna use this circle and it will open up a web browser. I would recommend you don't log into anything, or if you do log into something that you sign out, since it is a guest account and anyone would have access to your stuff. If like you if I open. save your Netflix information, like if you logged into Netflix or something yeah. like that. Okay, so yeah, and here you can search Google for whatever you want. Some stuff is already here at the top, and whatever you need, but if you wanna to go to YouTube, you can click the YouTube icon. And most of the guest accounts, I think, have some of the popular icons. I think it depends what was used most recently. But you can always go to use the browser and just go to YouTube.com. And it won't be this slow every single time you open this. It's slow because it hasn't been open in, in several months. And it's just like when you're starting your new computer, it just takes a little while. And so once you've used the guest accounts, they're not going to be this slow. But that's just basically how you get in without, if there's a password that's left on here. You can just pull down from the top and then you go into, um, you can go into whatever you want on here. And it's, tr it's trying to load YouTube, it's just taking a little bit. You, you can always unmute it, the sound will come through. I'm sure that since today's Ash Wednesday or this right now, the season of Ash Wednesday, that you probably have heard a ton of people who say things like, you know, they're really clever. The volume buttons are down there. The plus and minus. Yeah, the plus and minus. You can expand the video, all of that, just normal YouTube stuff. When you're done and you want to go back to like the main screen, this pink button is going to be what takes you everywhere. And it will load up a circular thing. For you to get back home. Yeah, so the house takes you back home, back to the main page. And actually while you're here, you can use this if you want like a whiteboard, and then you can open up the whiteboard and, you know, draw, whatever you need. Same here. You just hit the home button to go back through and use it. I think that's it. So if you have a device that you're connecting, here's an HDMI cable, and we'll leave some extra ones in our religious ed so you guys have some. But it just plugs into the HDMI. Uh, most of them are right on the front. A couple of them have them kind of, they're sort of, they're, you have to look, they're right underneath the edge. So you'll have to look and see. Most of them are on the front though, because they're newer. And so then once you do that, you're gonna hit the source button, which is usually the last button, but you'll hit the source button different options will pop up and you'll go through and it's usually HDMI 1 if it's in the front, if it's underneath on the bottom, it might be HDMI 2 or HDMI 3. You'll click that and switch over to your computer. And once it gets to the right one, your your device screen's going to show up on there. Yeah. Do you have to make sure that your computer has an HDMI port on it in order to plug in? Because we might have other things that can adapt, but not always. Like you've got to let us know ahead of time. Once you're plugged in, because it's HDMI, it will the volume all will come through the board. So you won't have to worry about the volume coming from your laptop.